A few months ago, astronomers detected a bona fide space-time speedster in outer space, and in doing so, gave experts a new nagging mystery to solve. Christened with the scientific name c w i s e J1249 plus 3621, we're dealing here with a confusingly small speeding star that races through the Milky Way at a breakneck speed of 1.6 million kilometers per hour. Unfortunately. We have no idea where this mysterious object comes from, what gives it its extraordinary speed boost, and what exactly it is. The cosmic world is always in motion, and our sun is no exception. After all, our mother star covers around 940 million kilometers every year, traveling through space at a speed of 107,000 kilometers per hour, or 30 times the speed of a bullet. And although these figures may seem extremely impressive at first glance, in an astronomical context, the solar travel speed is rather leisurely, which, incidentally, also applies to almost all other stars that revolve around the center of the Milky Way. And yet, there are celestial bodies out there that break this common pattern and live up to their official designation. At speeds of 300 to 1,000 kilometers per second. The so-called hyperfast runners are actually fast enough to escape the gravitational pull of our home galaxy and break out of it. Experts have already tracked down hundreds of these stellar speed demons, which mainly come in the form of blue giants, binary stars, or supernova fragments. In addition, around 30% of the fast-moving stars are suspected of having an extragalactic origin. But what actually causes a celestial body? To reach such an impressive speed, well, according to the prevailing theory, the speed of most hyperfast stars is due to their turbulent past, more precisely, the cosmic catastrophes that they narrowly escaped. According to this theory, the stars were either ejected from their original binary system or narrowly missed a black hole. At least that's the theory. But a few months ago. Astronomers identified a hyperfast runner that appears puzzling in many ways. Strictly speaking, however, the participants had not been looking for an exceptionally fast star. The Citizen Science Project Backyard Worlds Planet Nine, which is carried out by volunteers, is actually dedicated to the goal of finding the ominous ninth planet and nearby brown dwarfs. As part of this. Participants sift through special infrared images from the Wise Space Telescope, which scanned the sky from January 2010 and burned up in the Earth's atmosphere in November last year. But while the confirmation of the ninth member of our planetary system is still awaited, three amateur astronomers recently noticed a faint object that changed its position at an astonishing rate. In view of the extraordinary speed, co-discoverer Martin Kabatnik from Nuremberg. Initially assumed that the celestial body should have been documented long ago, but that was simply not the case. And so it came about that a team led by Adam Bergasser from the University of California in San Diego set about examining this strangely fast something for the first time with the help of the Keck 2 telescope in Hawaii. After the discovery became known, one examination with the high-resolution spectroscope later, it was clear that the stellar lead foot is racing through the Milky Way. A speed of around 524 kilometers per second. This corresponds to a speed of about 1.6 million kilometers per hour. And for the astronomers, it was clear that the object named c w i s e J1249 plus 3621 could be fast enough to escape from our home galaxy. Why the speeding star is posing problems for experts. Aside from its speed. The celestial body also attracted attention due to its close proximity to the solar system. At just 400 light years away, the star is actually the closest known hyperfast runner to Earth. With regard to the other stellar outliers in our cosmic neighborhood, experts stated that less than 0.002% of stars within 650 light years of the Sun exhibit comparable tangential, or in other words, orbital velocities. In the same breath, however. The trajectory of the racer also runs transversely to that of most other stars. This means nothing other than that it's currently heading for the center of our galaxy. We'll pass it at a distance of around 3,000 light years, and will ultimately fly out of the Milky Way. Whether the star will ultimately be able to free itself from the gravitational bonds of our home galaxy 
has not yet been conclusively determined. While a good 15% of the forecasts indicated a final farewell from the Milky Way, the rest pointed to an eccentric, far-reaching orbit lasting 3 billion years. But the star itself appears even more surprising. Spectrographic studies revealed that it weighs only about 0.083 solar masses, making it unusually small. The majority of the previously known hyper-fast runners have between 3 and 8 solar masses, and in detail, the newly discovered object is actually just above the mass limit that allows a star to ignite and sustain hydrogen fusion. In light of this, experts estimate that the modest runner could either embody a faint sub-dwarf or a brown dwarf. The latter occupy a special position between stars and planets and are also known as failed stars. But in addition to the unresolved identity, scientists are also puzzled by the unusual composition of the compact hyper-runner. The analyses show that it's very metal poor and, in addition, contains only a few heavier elements than hydrogen and helium. This special composition suggests that we are dealing with a very old celestial body, possibly even a member of the very first generation of stars in the Milky Way. But what, and this is perhaps the crucial question, has turned this little Methuselah dwarf into a hyper-fast runner at all? On exploding white dwarfs and cosmic bowling. Well, the researchers have not yet found a definite answer to this question, but at least the trajectory and the properties have allowed them to play through a few conceivable scenarios. The first is based on the assumption that the star once formed a binary system with a white dwarf, but then the stellar partner bid farewell to the cosmic stage in an explosive supernova. The later hyperfast runner raced away with its original speed and the additional speed boost from the explosion. The experts' calculations show that such an event seems quite conceivable but the same applies to the second scenario discussed by the researchers. In a nutshell, the fast racer became a victim of a cosmic bowling alley, and in a little more detail, it originally belonged to a globular cluster, in the densely populated centers of which stars and black holes are very close together and occasionally get in each other's way. As a result, the objects can also bowl each other out of their orbits, and if a star gets too close to a pair of black holes, it can even be hurled completely out of the globular cluster. The unusual trajectory of the hyperfast runner could be explained in this way, but even if this assumption is correct, we have no idea which globular cluster the object involuntarily left. This is for the simple reason that no known globular cluster lies on the reconstructed flight path of the racer. Equally unresolved is the question of whether the star may have once come into close contact with Sagittarius A star, the central black hole of the Milky Way, and was consequently thrown off its original orbit. As we can see, the true background of the speeding dwarf is still overshadowed by many big question marks. And to find out what story it has really lived through, further physical and atmospheric analyses are essential. After all, each of the discussed scenarios should have left typical element traces in the gas envelope of the star. The discovery of such chemical fingerprints would therefore be a major step in helping us to unravel the secrets of the stellar heavy foot. However, only the future will tell to what extent astronomers will succeed in this endeavor. But if we turn our gaze to the past instead, we see that a star has even been detected that turns even the one just discussed into a snail. The fastest star in the Milky Way. Because, let's be honest, what are 1.6 million kilometers per hour compared to 86 million kilometers per hour? Yeah, you heard right. In 2020, astronomers discovered a celestial body, S4711, that is orbiting the Milky Way's central black hole at an almost unbelievable speed of 24,000 kilometers per second. That's up to 8% of the speed of light, and it takes just 7.6 years for S4711 to complete a full orbit around the central black hole. Detected in the observation data of the Very Large Telescope in Chile, the record racer only reaches its maximum speed in the immediate vicinity of the central gravitational monster. Away from it, its average orbital speed is only 0.5% of the speed of light. But beyond that, and this is exciting, S4711 
could belong to a class of stars that so far only exists on paper and embody a so-called squeezar. In theory, these are stars that orbit a supermassive black hole on extremely eccentric orbits and are therefore heated up by its tidal forces as they approach before they cool down again as they move away. As a result, squeezars can heat up to several thousand degrees, and indeed, the analysis of S4711 showed that it has a peak temperature of around 10,000 Kelvin, almost twice as hot as the surface of the Sun. But the bottom line is that S4711 is not the only star that has been found in the vicinity of our black hole. But how is that even possible? After all, the tidal forces of the mass monster are so strong that no stars should form there at all. Well, according to the experts, they probably aren't, but were captured and held in the corresponding zone afterwards. It's conceivable that the stars originally belonged to double systems that came close to the black hole and were torn apart. One star was captured by the gravitational monster, while the other was flung out and has since been traveling through the Milky Way as a hyper-fast runner. And now you can continue your journey through YouTube as a hyper-fast clicker. Simply press the thumbs up and subscribe now to never miss a new video from us again. We'll see you soon.